welcome to internet quality academy the channel is for the quality control engineer civil engineer and the site engineer who are working in the construction field in this channel we are dealing with anything and everything which is required to get success in the construction today also i am going to discuss about a very very important topics about a construction materials that is micro silica now it is widely used in the construction in case of higher strength is required the micro silica is used in you know, throughout the world but what is micro silica how it is produced and what why micro silica is used in the construction and what is the relevant ios code and what is the physical and chemical requirement today i will discuss each and everything about the micro silica so stay tuned until the end to get the full information about the micro silica and if you are new on my channel kindly subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever i upload a new video you will get immediate notification so let's jump into the subject the micro silica for concrete so first we need to know what is micro silica now micro silica also known as silica fumes is a byproduct of the production of silicon or ferrosilicon alloys so this is again a byproduct material so why you are using byproduct material it is a environmental friendly otherwise this byproduct has to deposit on the land and it will contaminate the land air and the water which is eventually it's not good for the environment so whenever we are using any byproduct material in a construction that means we are helping uh, environmental protection so this is a byproduct in a silicon or ferrosilicon alloy so whenever this ferrosilicon alloys or alloy is preparing as a byproduct this micro silica or silica fume is produced it is highly reactive pozzolanic material composed primarily silicon dioxide si2 in a very fine powder form so it is a highly reactive pozzolanic material so anyway if you are using concrete the reaction rate will increase its particles are about 100 times smaller than the average cement particle so it's a very thin particle so giving it a very high surface area which enhance its reactivity and also the homogeneous and the strength is increased because as the particle size is finer it is fill the void inside the concrete so it will give the more dense concrete and it will give the more result so that is silica micro silica it's a byproduct whenever uh, we are production of silica or ferrosilicon alloys now the next is how micro silica is produced i already discussed about this a byproduct still we need to know that micro silica is produced as a byproduct during the manufacture of silicon or the ferrosilicon alloys in electrical arc furnace so it is produced in the electrical arc furnace the exhaust gases from this process contains very fine silica particles which are collected in a filter systems as a micro silica it is then used in concrete production or other industrial application so it is a byproduct for the plant of the silicon or ferrosilicon alloys when it are produced in electrical arc furnace so these are the simple things the micro silica used is a byproduct we are using in the construction which means we are making it user friendly or the environmental friendly then why micro silica used in concrete see why we want to introduce a foreign material other than the cement so first things it increased strength in any high characteristic strength can high strength concrete the micro silica is now widely used so first is increased strength it enhances both the compressive and the flexure strength of concrete due to its fine particle filling the gaps between the uh, cement grains resulting in a denser mix that means what is the concrete for the brick uh, rocks that means the coarse aggregate the with the fine aggregate then the <coughs> cement is combined together and make a homogeneous bed but if now the micro silica is introducing is finer than the cement so what is happening it is again whatever the void present inside the mix it's make these voids fill so make it a denser concrete and resulting in a design denser mix and the increase the strength then improve durability how it improves resistance to chemical attacks such as sulfate and chloride attacks and abrasions making concrete more durable so in the case of durability also micro silica using is very much important then reduced permeability micro silica reduces the permeability of concrete helping to prevent water ingress and protect reinforcement steel from corrosion so it increase the 
sorry, it reduces the permeability. What does it mean? The increase of water, chemical ion like of sulfate chloride, it will not increase. It will not penetrate inside the concrete. So there will be no corrosion. So, so that is why it is helping to prevent the corrosion. Then enhance workability. It can improve the workability of concrete, especially in high performance or high strength concrete applications. Then it reduces the bleeding in concrete by densifying the mix and absorbing the free water. So these are the benefit we are using uh, microsilica whenever we are using the concrete. That is increased strength, improved durability, reduce permeability, enhanced workability, and reduction in bleeding. These are all the properties if we are preventing. That means we are getting the strength, getting the durability. That means our concrete is recovered as per our getting as per our requirement. That is why microsilica is used. And also, as it is a byproduct, we are using that means we are helping environment protection. What is the relevant IS code in India? Because when, whatever we are working in India, we need to know the what is the IS code for the microsilica. That is IS 15388-2003. And again, it is reaffirmed in 2022. That is silica film specification. So it has given the guideline what will be the specification and whatever the chemical and physical requirement it has um, uh, outlined each and everything in this code so next part is what is the physical properties of the microsilica that is required whenever we are dealing with the microsilica or whenever we are using it in the concrete mix so we need to know that what is the physical requirement. So physical requirement is in table two of same code. That is I. That means IS one five three eight eight two thousand three. It is the same code. It is given the what is my physical requirement. So what is my physical requirement? There is a specific surface area meter square per gram. That is a minimum is requirement fifteen. Then uh, oversized percentage retained on forty five micron or IS that is ten. Then oversight percentage retained on 45 micron ISC variation from average percentage that is also maximum is 5. And then compressive strength it is 85 complete at 7 days as uh, perm uh, permanent of compression. That is this is giving more more result 85. So we are, if we are using in the concrete the higher grade of concrete can be produced. And what is the notice in any one of these tests specified in one or two or three indicated may be adopted. For three, the average shall consist of 10 proceeding tests, all the proceeding tests if the number is less than 10. Then for the three, in the test method of determining compressive strength of silica fumes, cement mortar in accordance with IS 1727. So here is also mentioning. So these are the physical requirement, the specific surface area, oversight percentage, oversight percentage, and then compressive strength. From here itself, we can find out that it is maximum here it is 85 we are getting more, more strength the cement uh, strength is maximum 53 but if we are using this microsilica it is become 85 so it is easily we can produce high strength concrete so these are the physical requirement of microsilica which is described in table 2 of is 15388 now we need to know what is the chemical properties of same uh microsilica it is in table 2 see here is the si2 percentage by mass maximum minimum is 85 percent moisture content it's maximum three percent loss of ignition four percent and alkalis as na2o percentage is 1.5 percent so whenever we are selecting microsilica for our concrete we need to satisfy these two parameters that's the physical properties and the chemical properties if we are not satisfying then we cannot use the microsilica in our concrete so here it is also given note for determination of moisture content dry a weighted sample as received to constant mass in an oven at 150 to 100 degree centigrade express in percentage the loss of mass and recorded as a moisture content so requirement of limiting alkali shall be applicable in case silica fume is to be used in concrete containing reactive aggregate so these are the given the the determination of uh, chemical requirement and the condition and for determination of alkalis method of test used for determination of this in a cement may be adopted so same method can be adopted so these are the things about the physical and chemical and what is the recommended doses or in the concrete itself how much percentage we can use that's a five to ten percent of total cementitious material we can use 
in a concrete. For where it is then mentioned, it is IS10262. It is mentioned. Let me open big that one. In table nine, recommended doses for mineral admixture, high strength mix AC. Fly ash is given 15 to 30, GG base into 25 to 50, metacaulin is 5 to 15, and silica film is given 5 to 10 percent. So that IS code also given the maximum percentage of total cementitious material. What we can use that is 5 to 10 percent. So these are all about the micro silica. What now is micro silica is user we are using in the construction. That means we are in favor of environmental protection and it is used for the high strength because it has the high compressive strength and specific area so and the finer particle than the cement so it is giving the strain durability and also reducing blend um, uh, bleeding also reduces the permeability that means we are getting the concrete more durable that is why now widely use this micro silica in the concrete and i hope this in uh, video you find it useful and if you find it useful kindly subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever i upload a new video you will get immediate notification and i'm waiting for your valuable comments so that from your valuable comment everybody will be benefited and if you want to know anything more about quality control and construction please let me know i will come with more content like this and thank you once again for watching me